welcome back to my channel where we talk about many Asian beauty related things. When I was younger and I just touched makeup, I basically couldn't understand any of these eyeshadow tutorials because whenever I did it, it made no sense and it came out so ugly. So today, I will be sharing with you one tip. This one universal eyeshadow application tip that will last you a life so this tip is beginner friendly, it's very very foolproof and it's very very easy and simple. So once you master this, you are a master of all your eyeshadow palettes and all the future eyeshadow palettes that you will be buying, okay? So before I start, it's important for you guys to know what are the eye regions that we have on our eyelid. So there are three main portions on your eyelid. The first portion would be called the inner eyelid. This eyelid is the area above the white portion of your eyes on the front. And the second portion would be called the middle lid. So the middle lid is the area above your pupil, which is around here. So the last portion is the outer lid. The outer lid is the area above the white portion at the end of your eye. Okay, so this portion. So now that you know three different areas of your eyelid, now I need to teach you guys the four different colors whenever you are going for an eyeshadow look. I will show you guys an example with two different palettes of mine, okay? So these are the four different kinds of colors that you need for every eyeshadow look, okay? From light to dark, it's highlight, base color, middle color, and defined color, okay? So these four colors go from light to dark. So the base color and the highlight color is always the lightest shade on your eyeshadow palette. And the highlight shade is always the one with extra bling like glitter or like pearl powder it's a little bit more shiny than your base color it can also tend to be lighter than your base color as well and moving on to the main color so the main color is always the color that you want your eyeshadow look to be so define is always a darker shade that is darker than your main color so i have two palettes with me here so one palette being a very very simple palette. So this palette is already arranged from light to dark and the color scheme is also arranged for you as well. This is towards the brownish kind of tone. So now when we want to choose the highlight color, it's definitely this color, okay? So this color will definitely be the highlight color. The base color will probably be around here. So the main color on this palette is actually quite a big range. You can start either from here to about here as long as you have a darker shade to work with for Define. So over here, you can see the darker colors. These three colors are definitely good for Define. When we go on to more difficult palettes where the color scheme is a little bit colorful, you can still apply the same rules to choose your color. As long as you follow the same rules as I shared just now, you can definitely find the four colors. So let me give you an example. Over here, the lightest color we see is probably this color. So this color is definitely your highlight color, okay? When you go to the base color, so base color would probably be around here, okay? And last but not least, your defined color would probably be around here. The special thing about this palette is it has pressed glitter. So pressed glitter, I would recommend beginners to not to try to use it first until you know how to use a normal shade. So now that you guys know the three regions and the four colors, we are going to put them together to create a very easy eyeshadow look. So today I'll probably go for a more bronzy color rather than like a pinkish color which is also an available option here. And for the base color, I'll be using this color over here. And I'll just pick some up. You want to put it from the inner to the outer lid in terms of height. You want to go where your socket ends. So my socket is about here. And please note that a lot of American YouTubers and a lot of those eyeshadow looks out there are not very applicable to Asians because their eye sockets and their crease is so deep set 
it works for them. But for Asians, our eye sockets are not protruding very sharply and therefore we are not suitable for those crease kind of looks. Yes. So starting from the inner lid, inner lid to the outer lid, okay? So this is where my socket ends. I'll be stopping here. Now, moving on to the main colour, okay? So the main colour, I'll probably be going for this colour over here. Something more bronzy. You want to put it from the middle to the outer lid. Use a fluffy brush, something like that, to blend out the front area, okay? And also blend out the top so that everything comes together nicely. So the next colour would be the defined colour, which generally is the darker portion of the palette. You want to put it on the outer lid, okay? Outer lid, here. So I'll be taking this brown over here. On the outer lid. So after that, use your fluffy brush to blend it again. Blend towards the front. Now we are going on to the bottom portion of your eyes. So the bottom portion is very, very easy. So for the outer portion, put the defined colour. Middle portion, put the main colour. And the front portion, put the base colour. And put it very, 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 very lightly. Okay, we don't want to put so much because it's under the eye. Okay, just a little bit. So last but not least, this is where we use the highlight colour. So for the highlight colour, you want to use the lighter shade. So the lighter shade on my palette would be this one. Where you want to put it is on the inner corner of your eyes, which is this area. And a little bit at the front portion of the bottom of your inner lid portion right here. The reason why we do that is because us Asians, we like to have this portion, this little fat portion over here. It makes us look younger, it makes us look cuter. So that is a way to further emphasize it more. So that's all there is to it actually. It's a slightly longer video but with this one tip, you are able to master all eyeshadow palettes. So anyway, let's do a recap section. So what you need to know when you are doing eyeshadow is just three things. First thing would be to ensure that you know the three regions of your eyes. Secondly would be to identify the four different colours that you want on the palette. And last but not least, put it together and voila, you have a eyeshadow look. So I really hope that this tip helped you guys because when I was a beginner, I totally did not dare to dwell into like the eyeshadow region because it's just so easy to screw it up. But when I learned of this tip, it brought me to places, you know. I went to like nice events with very nice eyeshadow and all that. So this video falls under my Asian Beauty Tips playlist where I upload a tip every single week. So if you are interested to find out all my other tips, go and check that playlist out and subscribe to me so that you know when I upload my next tip. So again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!